hello you guys okay i'm coming back again to uh give you some more do's and don'ts about the um making your own rhinestones beforehand um i had a lot of questions and i know that my uh first video well the last one whatever was extremely hard to see okay like i said that was my first time um and i'll get used to it just like right now i'm working from the side okay i got it sitting this way and i turned the mat this way but i am actually sitting on the side right here okay so bear with me um over time i will get better um i have a lot of ideas that i'm going to bring you guys and um hopefully we'll have fun doing this um hopefully i get used to it and <laughs> Maybe if you guys got some tips about how to record and all that extra stuff, edit and all that extra stuff. But I'll go and try to read some of that. Okay, so right now, I had a lot of people asking about jail. Okay, this is what I want to explain. And I know you jail lovers, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, I just put it on a piece of duct tape just because. Okay, now this is jail. You see that? You do not want to put your pre-made rhinestones on that. You know why? Because this is what's going to happen when you go to put it on the nail. You're going to have to manipulate that piece of gel. It's not going to lay on the nail. You see what I'm saying? It's just it's it's just not going to work. It's it's hard. You see, it's not pliable, it's not delicate, it's just, it will make your um, job that much harder. I have to wipe my hands off because that was tacky right there. So, now that we got that straight, we do not want to use gel. Okay, now, I had a lot of people asking me if this was a regular top coat. Yes, it is regular top coat okay you see this right here i tried to get close so you guys can be see in this video okay i know the lighting may not be good but like i say i'll learn this um the more i want to start recording and uh, vlogging i'll learn but anyways just bear with me for a minute but anyways this is regular top coat and i'm going to show you something and a lot of people know this already you put it on thick enough you see that it's gonna peel right off okay your stones is gonna be on the top here let's see if I can get this to, uh, focus I don't know but anyways your stones are going to be on the top of here Okay, and you see how this is just pliable, you can bend it, you can do all kinds of stuff with it, and how it will lay on the nail. As soon as you stick it, it's going to lay. You can press it, you can do whatever. But um, I, I strongly suggest that all of this be cut around the rhinestone. That's just what I feel would be better <laughs> so anyways now look at this I'm trying to focus you guys you see how pretty that is look now put this together and the best thing to do is cut as much off as you can and you know you can cut all of it off me I would probably cut it all off you know I'm trying to do this where you can see it because I know that last video was kind of you know I'm not that good at this we already discussed that okay so I'm trying to cut all of this off okay 
and this is a pretty large one too so only because of the triangle because of the shape of the uh, triangle so it's, it's pretty big and I don't even know if it's going to go on the, uh, the nail over here but anyways yes I cut it all off okay and then I had a few people well I ain't going to say a few I, I had a lot of people to ask me how were these rhinestones stuck on here okay now you guys see I cut all that off I'm not doing too good at this focus stuff here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you can see it now. Maybe I'll pull back a little bit. Uh-oh. It, it's, it's folding down because it's that delicate. You see how I cut just about all of it off? Just enough for it to stay together? Well. I turn it over. This is what I want you to see. I'm going to try to hold it where you can see it. Now, can you see that? Let's see. Okay, I'll bring it down and it can fo it'll focus. See? You see how it's all stuck on there? It's all stuck on there. And what's going to happen is, when you get ready to put it on the nail, and like I said, I always use resin. That's just my preference. That's what I use. Um, and none of my rhinestones ever come off. If you use the resin, and I like to put it on here. That way I don't get it all over my fingers. Because this stuff can be really sticky. And I still do get it on my fingers sometimes. And then I put this on here. Now, what's going to happen is... Ugh, Try not to get it on my fingers. What's going to happen is that resin is going to make the top coat. The t Oof, I'm sorry, y'all. That resin is going to make the top coat. See, you just see that? That one was kind of big. It just, uh oh, let me see. Smash it down. It's a little crooked, you guys. But you see, you see it. It's it's on there, and it's on there flat. Oh, I got glue on my camera. Oh, no, my screen. See, it's gonna lay on there flat. And then again, if you want to, you can go around it. You know, because I had some people saying, well, you know. They, they were concerned about the um, how, how well it was uh, stuck on there. And I can assure you it's stuck on there well. Because what happened is, because see, look, you can go in the inside, anywhere you see space. See, what happened is this, this resin or glue is going to, like, make the um, top coat disappear. See, it's on there like really hard. You know, I got it crooked. It's going to eat away at that top coat. And what's going to be left is going to be the resin stuck to. See it? You don't see that top coat. Nowhere. Nowhere. You see? The top coat's purpose was to only get them stuck together so that you can, you know, pre-make them. See? It's all gone. I wish I wouldn't have had it crooked, but <laughs> that's just the way it is. Okay, and so, a couple of more concerns I had. Now, this is just what I was, uh, what I came up with. Okay. Now, this is one that I had last night. I had it sitting because I wanted it to dry. I wanted it to dry up. <laughs> I wanted it to become crunchy, but it didn't become crunchy. <laughs> but I'm sure like over time, like maybe a few days, it may become crunchy. And what I mean by crunchy is, you know, dried out or whatever. I thought it was going to crack for me, but it didn't. 
Okay, and so what I did that I thought would work, but I wasn't for sure, but I found out that it's a pretty good idea. What I did was, this is my acetone. It's my acetone. And a Q-tip. Okay. What I did was, went on the back of this, and went like that. And it just made it, like, back soft again, you know. I've been playing with this too much. The bottom part came off, but that's okay. And also, like, if any parts ever fall off, now I said this in the last video, if any parts ever fall off, it's okay. It's okay. You know, don't be alarmed or anything. Don't get, you know, oh my God, it fell off. No, it's okay because when you, like, when you do it, when you do it like that, excuse me, y'all. When you do it like that, you could just also bring the part that fell off just and just glue it on there it's okay you're not messing up you're not doing anything wrong you're just putting it back on there but if you use um your top coat thick enough you don't really have much to worry about i tried to make some of them thick enough but some of them was not because i'm trial and error over here but anyways so i'm going to end this video because my time is running out I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I got a lot of great videos coming up, and you will like them. I can promise. I got another good one coming up next. It's going to be nighttime reflectors on the nail. It's pretty sweet. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.